Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I guess you didn't expect a second video for today because guess what? Here it is. The iPhone 14 Pro Max, 256 gigs of storage. And yes, this is my unit. <laughs> now, I did mention earlier in the video that I was gonna be waiting a week for this to show up. But you know, it's a tradition on this channel to get the iPhone day one. I've done it for the past five years and I was not gonna miss it just because of a stupid pre-order mix up. And so that's why, yes, shout out to my man who was able to get me a special deal for this iPhone. I think he really did me, did me a good one. Yes, I paid above retail. And yes, I'm definitely not telling you how much above retail I paid. But that doesn't matter, guys, because here it is, the iPhone 14 Pro Max here on the channel. And let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And while we do that, guys, let's just talk a little bit about the design of this phone. I mentioned it earlier. But, you know, we pretty much have the same dimensions as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The camera module, as I mentioned, is quite a bit larger, though. I did notice from the Kataka cases that were sent to me that the camera module is significantly larger. But let's go ahead and compare this to the 13 Pro Max in terms of design, and you can see what I'm talking about. So there they are, guys. The past and the future, the 13 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max next to each other. I'm not going to lie, Sierra Blue has been a beautiful color, but I do think the 14 Pro Max with this deep purple, in certain lighting looks a bit gray, but when you hit it just at the right angle, you get this pop of color that's really nice. And you can see there the two camera modules, they are definitely similar in size, but quite a bit larger when you put them next to each other like so. Look how much bigger and deeper the camera cutouts are on the 14 Pro Max. It's quite significant. So here we go, now it's powered on. There's your lock screen for the first time, there you see it. And let's go ahead and jump into this bad boy. So design at around 250 grams, typical thickness of around 7.8 millimeters, if I'm not mistaken for the 14 Pro Max, it's about as thin as the 13 Pro Max. And it does have a smaller battery capacity too, that may be the reason with a 3,000 523 milliampere capacity versus the 3550 or so for the 13 Pro Max. Display a 6.7 inch LTPO AMOLED 120 hertz display. And what's the key here, guys? It's that cutout, the dynamic island, call it what you will. This is a new look for iPhone. And the best way to show you guys how to do this is to go ahead and play a song. So, what we do is we play a song and it should pop up but let's go ahead and try a a timer here we go this worked this did not work in the store and it's not working now that's kind of annoying but let's go ahead and try something else but let's go to the settings to see what else we can find about dynamic island this is definitely in a different language so we're going to change that real quick all right, folks, so I did find one thing that I can show you here on the dynamic island for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and that's the timer. So notice when I do this, notice what happens. There you go. And it almost looks like software the way this opened up. And when I click in, this will bring you back to the app. Click out, back to dynamic island, and click and hold to either stop the timer, reset it, or do whatever you need to do. That is a pretty nifty feature, guys, and I know that it's just a notification system, but I do think this is very, very exciting to get, you know, them implementing something here with the pill cutout with this dynamic island. In terms of performance, as we mentioned, the A16 Bionic, and this is definitely a souped up version of the A15 with six GPU cores, and we saw the Geekbench results already. This thing is doing very well in terms of results, the first phone, I think, ever to get over 5,000 on the Geekbench multi-core scores. There you go, I turned off the timer and now back to the regular Dynamic Island. Gonna have to test the battery and all the other stuff, guys, but let's finish this up with a classic Frankie Tech camera shot. Here we go, choose style. And I like going with rich contrast or vibrant. Let's go ahead and use vibrant. 
Here we go. Anytime, anywhere, Frankie Street Tech. Oh yeah. 2X, baby. Here we go. 3X. And let's zoom right in there. What's the most we can do? Still just 15X. I would have liked to see a little bit more zoom. Apple, but you know, what are you gonna do? The 2X shot though, look at that. That looks super sharp, super nice. And there we go. And let's try one last ultra wide here. See what that looks like. Look at that. Crazy ultra wide, guys. Holy crap. This is a legit camera system. I'm seeing it here. And even the ultra wide looks amazing. I'm gonna have to test this out further, guys. But that's it for this initial first look on Frankie Tech of my unit of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. That's right, baby. You know, it was late day one, but we still made it here on the channel with our first impressions of my own unit here on Frankie Tech. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and which iPhone are you picking up if you are upgrading this year? Don't, I repeat, do not buy the iPhone 14 or 14 Plus. You're wasting your money. So that's it for this one. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more great content here. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Girl's talking next to me. I think I should go talk to her now. See ya.